I'm Gabe. This is Adam. This is Seth. We're going to see savages. So, is anybody else afraid this movie's gonna suck? I'm kind of excited about it. I remember what you're saying about that scene in the preview with Salma Hayek. I have no problem slitting their throat. And uh, I think that can probably be written off to Oliver Stone's sort of nihilistic sense of humor. That's not funny funny. I don't know exactly what you said about that line. I'm not exactly sure what I said about that line. Well, it's kind, of, it's kind of ridiculous. It's like it's supposed to be this really dark, ominous line, but it's not. Because of course she would kill him. Uh, yeah, we know you're gonna kill him. You're a brutal drug dealer. Maybe that line didn't need to be in the preview because the hope, context of the preview it doesn't make any sense. My hope is it makes sense in terms of showing Salma Hayek's character's dark sense of humor. You know, like as if something like that needed to be said. I don't know. I could just be giving it too much credit. I could be too optimistic about this because the Oliver Stone films that I love, I really love Natural Born Killers and Platoon. But you know, he's hit and miss for he's sure. He's hit and miss. Dude, is the I mean, guy, is he the guy? directed Alexander. Is the guy in this movie the guy from Battleship? That's the other thing that concerns me. But he wasn't actually... He was not the problem in Battleship, although he didn't help the problem in Battleship. Yeah. He wasn't great enough to get up on screen and solve the problems of that movie. That movie was a piece of garbage, no matter how you slice it. But if you look at a movie like John Carter, he was fine in that. I really enjoyed him in that. Yeah, he was good John Carter. And this is the first time anybody has really seen the guy from Kick-Ass. Yeah! It's be interesting. I had no idea that was him. When you said that, that just blew my mind. Yeah, I, was like, I know, you gotta he's be kidding old, because he looks like a kid in Kick-Ass, and he's like a dude. Man. We'll see. I mean, I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. Honestly, if Oliver Stone's name wasn't attached to this movie, I would have totally written it off. No, I mean, just take the cast aside from Taylor Kitsch, all right? The guy from Kick-Ass, he was great in Kick-Ass. He was fantastic. Salma Hayek has never done me wrong. And Benicio. Benicio Del Toro, forget about it. That guy's out of control. He's awesome. And then Blake Lively, too, who I'm not a huge fan of in terms of making her the hot gal, but she's a solid actress. What else? What is, oh, yeah, she's in, she's uh, in the town. Maybe gone. No, 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 she's in the no, town. No, she's in the town. She was dead on in that one. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with her. I don't have a problem with the cast. I guess I guess what I really didn't like about it was the trailer. I really That's didn't what like it is trailer. for me too. If it wasn't Oliver Stone based on that trailer, I don't know. That well, like, I that might like watch weird it. weird dialogue like don't think that I'm, because I'm talking this is a story where I live at the end. You're just like, "Oh, come on." I don't know. I would probably go watch it based on the preview just because Benicio Del Toro is in it. I think yeah, that he's enough to get me to go watch yeah, the movie. He yeah, he really is. <laughs> yeah. He's that good. But it could easily go either way. And great performers don't necessarily dictate the directors at the top of his game. But at the same time, you get good people signing on. They probably read the script and really felt like it was a solid script. Yeah, except for Taylor Kitsch signed on with Battleship. No, 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 I'm no, no. I'm Benicio talking about Benicio Del Toro. Yeah, exactly. I'm kidding, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Salma Hayek seemed very... I don't know, very uncomfortable in this movie. Yet. I don't know, I hope it works. My feeling is that that's the way her character is being played, though. Yeah, probably. What is Oliver Stone's most famous film? Platoon, Natural Born Killers, The Doors, which I haven't seen, and Nixon, which I have seen but really didn't care about. And then he wrote Scarface. I can't say about all of his films that I've seen that, like I said, they have that really dark sense of humor. So that's what I'm hoping is really on display here because it seems like a perfect showcase for that type of thing. I'm kind of excited. Like, it has kind of a natural born killer's feel to it. There's a little bit of the, like, drug traffic stuff that he's obviously good at writing about. Well, the question is, did he write it? Because I don't know. I yeah, that's true. I don't know. See if he wrote it. If he wrote it, it would be a good sign. Well, with him, it's kind of hit or miss, though, too, because I think he wrote Alexander. Yeah, so uh, Alexander was just horrible. You just flat out never know with him. When he's on, he's so on, and when he's off, he's so off. quite, quite off. So we go either way, but I'm optimistic. But then he also has kind of middle-of-the-road stuff. Like Nixon. Well, Nixon could just be a case of my not giving a f about Nixon. You I look will at say things it like Any Given Sunday and U-Turn, which weren't bad movies, but they were just middle-of-the-road. They were just okay. I, w I will say that, like, I didn't really care about Nixon. I think I'm from the wrong generation to fully appreciate that movie. But what's his name's performance? The English actor? Hopkins. No, he played, uh, he played the werewolf in one of the, oh, what's his name? No, no, you're not thinking, you're thinking of Cross Nixon. Oh, I'm thinking of a completely wrong movie. Yeah, you're really on the wrong movie. No, what's this is where Hopkins played Nixon.
So. Oh, hop. Oh, okay. You can edit that out so I don't look like a complete moron. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always take out the stuff that makes us look stupid. That's the first thing to go. Oh, that's right. You haven't seen our Abraham Lincoln review yet where we all get lost on John Wilkes Booth. Oh, that oh was my gosh. Yeah, that was, that was shameful. Did you edit that out? No. <laughs> all right, so flat out, I'm excited about this movie. I've been excited since I saw Oliver Stone's name on it. Yeah, me too. But I'm also willing to admit it could it be, could be garbage. Deal. Yep. It yeah, could be garbage. It could go wrong. But I'm psyched. I'm, ex I'm excited. I want, I want this movie to be great. Yep. Let's go watch it.